2006 marks the centenary of the birth of Martin O'Kane, long considered the 20th century's most influential prose writer in Irish. In his book, Goss Gale, or Two Stories, has just been published by Arlen House. The two stories in question, The Edge of the Bog and The Stranger, are reprinted here in O'Kane's original Irish alongside English translations by the writers Louis de Poir, Mike McCormick and Lachlan O'Turishk. Tonight we look both at the book and at tonight's Arts Lives documentary, Rian Uckle, King of Words, which you may have just been watching before we came on air tonight. The Schelt is Griefsche, Fadis Vish as a Briso, Hogsche or Ho, Horsche Low, Agus Filesche von Knossach and Brian Brauch, Siblian Nidia Kerha Hort. The Lauschen at Han Verne Viel, Kand on the Schelt is Sheva Erbet or Schriefsche, Schel Grothan, Ach Schel Gra Kreuze. I have foster, nor a liam vidaton, agasi taka the horror clownish is jacudi ferim mid an achre. Is minic and coffees all low egg screenoidy on the huish. Coffees spit a dalta lish a seal. Coffees a wadnis bonusi at our nora. Coffees lish a bosa, lish a mallert, lish an achre strancherach. Isaula Gurshian Rale Buachal on the Cantor Fein. Bertlin Buachal Emshire Ahar. She nearly ran you there in an extract from uh, Barneville. Uh, and we should, we should say, if the, that, was, that was your better half uh, doing the VO. But apart from that, you've no involvement in this movie Absolutely at all. Not, okay, no, right. uh, it paid for the holiday. All right. Well, having said that, um, fascinating character, okay, when you And one of the things about him. Born the same year as Beckett, which I think is kind of interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, the one thing I disagree with your introduction when you said that he's a, one of the most prominent uh, authors in the Irish language, he's, he should be considered one of the most prominent uh, authors of Irish literature, English or Irish in the 20th century. And for whatever reason, whether it's conspiracy, whether it's lack of ambition, uh, whether it's uh, uh, the, the engagement with the Irish language, he, he should be uh, uh, head and shoulders uh, side by side with Joyce, with Beckett, with McGarren. Well, of course, the reason work. is he wrote in Irish. He wrote in Irish, and, and, and I, he wrote in Irish, and my view uh, is that I think he became a kind of um, a toy for uh, the academic class of the universities. And I think there was also a problem, I think, with, with getting it translated. And what's that? What do you mean? Kainakele is translated in Danish. It's translated in, Nor in Norwegian, and it's not. It's not. There isn't a, a, a available translation in English. When you consider that the most cathartic moment, and we see this in Rianukul, the documentary, one of the most cathartic moments for Martin O'Kane as a writer was reading Gorky in French. The notion that as an Irish speaker, a native Irish speaker, was engaging with one of the great international writers. five or six languages. Which he learned. Uh, I mean, uh, the man is, uh, has an astounding life, and I think it, 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 he mirrors, I suppose, the, the difficult relationship we as, as Irish people have with our own native language, and maybe some issues with Zoli in, in the previous uh, uh, discussion. And I think he went, he was uh, incarcerated in Siberia, as he called it himself, Tin Town, or, or, or the Kura camp, where... Uh, for, for four or five years where he learnt and, uh, different languages and uh, read quite a lot. And what's interesting as well is at the exact same time Beckett had his own cathartic experiences in the Second World War in France and both of them came out with I think a very bleak a very uh, uh, truthful and a very um, visceral view of uh, the world and the, um, uh, O'Kine in the documentary is I say that the worst moment in his life was leaving the Cora camp, leaving Siberia five years and having to face this bleakness and, of course, having to write about that. He said he didn't want to leave. He was you know, put out. And, I, 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 yeah, and then, therefore, and you know yourself as a responsibility of an artist, that fear of having that, that urgency and fear of, uh, and bleakness of having to write, having to draw, make art. And I think he, he did that extraordinarily well. And the two short stories that were published and it's a, it's a great tribute to the translators uh, is a part of that bleakness because he took a step forward. It was no longer about, I mean, he said goodbye to folklore in terms of it being a, um, the purpose of writing. The folklore and, and, and the Baelidus that he looked at in Connemara indeed was a source, but he took the short story to, to, to another level in, in, uh, in a, both a bleakness and in, in, in dealing with the day. And of course, then his great oeuvre, uh, Crane Achille, which, which uh, should be uh, uh, read indeed and should be seen as, as uh, I suppose, in terms of linguistic terms, okay. uh, was as great as, as Joyce, and in terms of bleakness, was as great as Beckett. Mark, uh, reputation for, diff for being difficult, all the same, uh, whatever language you read his work in, um, 
difficult to understand. Is that a justified uh, idea? I think everything about O'Kine is difficult. He was a difficult character. He was he, he was bitter. He was angry in the same way that Proust and uh, Joyce, Joyce was were. bitter and angry. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but what's the, the, well, he was enjoying himself in Paris. <laughs> yeah. The most difficult thing for us is to assess his reputation. And there's often, I mean, within minutes of that documentary, they're they're claiming Yates and Joyce. And claiming the Curra as, as Siberian. Now, I know that was his own exaggeration, but it's taken. The Curra was not Siberian. He isn't, I don't think he's an, an international rated ar artist. Um, all over Europe at the time, people were taking the ideas of um, you know, looking at so, prose no, form. You, say you, you don't think he's an internationally rated artist, or you don't think he should be? I don't think he should be, right. sorry, an right. internationally rated It's very difficult to say, because there are no Joyce experts who, are, who will have good enough Irish to understand Crane and Kill at the same level. But what we do know is all over Europe, all over the world, in fact, there were people being influenced by Gorky, by Beckett, by, by Yeats, by just modern, the modern movement in literature, and were using, trying them out in their own languages. This was what O'Kine was doing afterwards, and it's great that he did that in the Irish language, but you know, whether, whether he surpassed them, I don't think he did. Whether it is relevant to us, it's fascinating now in the study of Irish that there was someone doing this at the time in the mid-20th century. Whether the relevance goes beyond that for us now, other than, you know, it's an interesting literary thing that it was happening, I'm not sure about either. I can't enjoy Crane and Killer. It's, it's so directed towards one particular, um, one particular Parochta, one particular Conoint, one particular part of Connemara. His other works, Barbed Wire, they're interesting, they're amusing. They're like maybe a, 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 a Miles, um, oh. an, an, an article in the Irish Times. But, uh, yeah, exactly. But again, they don't really hold importance to <laughs> now. You know, th these aren't telling something about us now. But okay, I, think, well, I think if you read, if you look at Dostoevsky, if you look at Chekhov, if you read Richard Ford, if you read uh, any any of, of decent good short story writers, the, 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 the key is that the beauty of, of the gift of sh writing short stories is that it, it can reflect on your own psychological uh, makeup. But I think uh, to, to look at O'Kine as a kind of an anthropological or a biographical writer is a mistake. I think the the uh, the, 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 I suppose the biggest crisis for us, is that, or the biggest challenge, is that uh, we have to take him out of academia and into uh, the realm of, of a discussion about literature, which I think up to now, we has, uh, has, uh, it's, it's failed. We failed to do that. Pat, you'll have to be brief on this. The programme itself, as an introduction to people who don't know his work, what, does that, does that uh, do anything for his reputation, do you think? The well, programme, does it give us enough? Well, it certainly gave me a good lot, because I have to say, uh, unfortunately, and I've studied Irish to yeah. A-level, and we did a lot of writing. So did I, and we didn't heard of I, I, I'm a native so Irish speaker, and I, I haven't read him. Yeah. Okay, in terms, of very, very recently, mm -hmm. and, and through other, to looking at Crane Kill as, 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 as a play, you know. Sorry, and I, no, and I agree with Faith. I think they're wonderful translations. I find myself going back to the Irish, and between the, the documentary and that, I looked and I thought. I wish my Irish was better and I really felt propelled to want to read it in the Irish and I'm interested in the debate between the two of you because I think it's a very interesting debate. I felt reading the story, the one about the stranger, I thought, oh, I didn't know an Irish person looked like this, mm. you know, an Irish. I mean, he it is ahead of its time. He wrote, it was yeah. beautiful. And he wrote beautifully for women. I yeah. thought, I thought, I thought it's his portrayal of women, so I, if I disagree with you, Manu, but I think his portrayal of women was extraordinary. I think where, where the document didn't work, in my view, is first of all, it didn't put it through the filter of, uh, of European literature. Uh, did which not is crucial that, in this Which I think case, that it, yeah. it, it, it stuck him in the locality, which he's not, and I, would, I, I think he's a European writer. Whether he's a great writer or not is a discussion that yeah. we should have, and we don't have enough of the, uh, the weaponry to discuss that. Okay, we're going to have to leave that one there. Gascale is uh, published by Ireland House at 20 euros.